to get iOS 7 without a developer's account or a UDID number, you're going to want to go to this website, which I'll have in the link description. And first, you have to download the latest official iOS firmware for your device. So for iPhone 5, it's going to be 6.1.4. For iPhone 4S, it'll probably be 6.1.3. And you kind of get the picture here. Um, and then after you download this, this is like this is the official firmware, you're going to go to this website that I'll also have in the description and download the, the iOS 7 Beta 1 for your device. And how the difference between the iPhone 5 models is the A1428, that one is GSM, and the A1429, that one is uh, the CDMA, Verizon, and GSM is AT&T. Alright, so after you download all this, you're going to want to hit the Restore iPhone button. <clears throat> if you have a Windows, you need to hit the Shift and Restore, or if you have a Mac, you need to hit Option and Restore. I have a Mac, so I'm going to hit Option, Restore. And now go to where you saved your firmwares, and first click on 6.1.4. Okay. It says, iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 6.1.4. It's just asking if you're okay with that. Hit restore. See, it's extracting the software. I'll get back to you when it's done. iPhone is almost done restoring. Once your iPhone is done restoring, there will be this little blue button right by the get started button, and it says either create new iPhone or back up from the old iPhone. And this is very important because if you back up from the old iPhone, you will not be able to put iOS 7 on your device. So you have to hit create a new iPhone and go through all these steps on your phone. Like I'm almost done, so I'm going to say don't use Siri, hit next, and don't send the diagnostics. And there you go, start using iPhone. And to preview that I'm on 6.1.4, right there. Once this iOS 7 Beta 1 download is done, and it does take a while, and it says only I have 15 seconds left, so I'm excited. It probably took like over 30 minutes for downloading. Um, and once you have restored your iPhone back to its original like firmware 6.1.4 or 6.1.3 if you have the 4S, you need to... Oh, there, look, look at, looky there. Finish downloading. Cool. Alright, so I'm going to save this to my uh, desktop, just like I did my other one. And once it's done like saving to my desktop, you're going to go back to your iPhone, and this time you're going to want to hit check for update. Not restore iPhone, but check for update, because... You are going to update it to the iOS 7 Beta 1. As you can see, I have both my firmwares right there. iPhone 5, the 6.1.4, and the 7.0. Alright, so now we're going to open up iTunes. And again, hit check for update and option or shift if you have Windows. And find your firmware right there. Hit open. It says iTunes will update your iPhone to iOS 7.0 and will verify the update with Apple. Just hit update. And as you can see, it's extracting the software. Nothing, no new changes have happened to my iPhone yet. It's still on 6.1.4, but it's about to be on 7.0. You can definitely see some changes now that are going on with the iPhone. Oh, and looky here, iOS 7, slide to unlock, cool, and there we go, I got iOS 7 on AT&T, iPhone 5, please guys, if this helped you or like any, any problems at all, just leave a comment down below, if you um, like this video, like it, comment on it, favorite it, just do whatever you want, retweet it, tweet it, do whatever it is to get this video out there all right thanks guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace